Hey guys, welcome back to Matthew Kelly Pottery on YouTube. I got a special treat for you today. I didn't hurt my back. I'm leaning over like this for a reason, so I can get my head in the camera and so I can hide what's behind me because today we're going to take 50 pounds of clay in a time lapse and make this. So this is not going to be too much of an instructional video. I might do a little bit of a voiceover on the time lapse, but for the most part, just wanted to show you guys, give you guys a preview of what's on this video. And it's in a time lapse, which means there's, I think, about 3,500 some odd pictures that make up this video. Actually, more than that. I think about, uh, there's two different clips. So, we put them both together. I think it's over 4,500 pictures to make this video. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Alright everybody, welcome to this time lapse and as you can tell by the uh, just start here, I've got more than 50 pounds of clay pugged out there. That's actually like 150 pounds of clay that I've pugged out because I had planned to make uh, like two or three of these large pieces and I actually was able to do that over uh, like a day and a half uh, time frame. But uh, start out each of these uh, pots with like a 15 pound base there so you can see I've got 15 pounds of clay at one time on the wheel and I won't make a huge... Uh, huge base out of that but I want to make sure it's it's uh, it's really well centered I want to make sure it's nice and sturdy uh, but uh, still pull it a decent amount and uh, just want to make sure it's a good uh, foundation I kinda get the size of the bottom of the piece that I want I get the little foot already on there and then I kinda pull it out to kinda start the uh, the angle of, of the the shape that I want the whole piece to go uh, I, I make sure that as I'm making these, I, I dry them out as I, I dry the bottom piece out as I'm making the next section, which you'll see right here. I'll actually set up a hair dryer and I actually spin the piece slowly as I have the hair dryer on high. Uh, so it kind of dries the bottom section out uh, as I'm making the next section on my other wheel, uh, which is why I have the camera set up the way I do so that you could see both of my wheels. Uh, but uh, I, I try to dry it out enough to support the weight of the next section I put on but still leave it soft enough that I can actually uh, shape it because one of the things that I that I don't like is I don't like to get the bottom so stiff that you're kind of stuck with that shape because then a lot of times you end up seeing like okay well the bottom section was kind of going in this direction and the next piece I put on was wet was more wet and I started shaping in it with a little bit different direction and you really it really becomes noticeable um, so I I always have to dry the uh, the section I'm gonna put on a little bit as well and, and uh, uh, this one I started using that torch and it didn't really work out that well so you'll see later where I actually get a uh, fan from the back room and I put it on there uh, but uh, definitely try to like I said get that bottom section stiffened up but not dry uh, so where I can turn over that piece and put it on uh, cut it off the bat and then start throwing those two together um, and you'll notice kind of each each section that I put on too I'll throw it a little bit and then I'll come back and actually trim either inside or outside because a lot of times it leaves a, uh, a thickness uh, a, a little thick spot where I put the two pieces together uh, that's thicker than the rest of the piece so I come back and I, I actually trim that off because that's another thing that will really show off the the seam or the section where you put the two pieces together is to have that extra thickness because as it dries it's going to dry at a different rate uh, and it will really show up later on so I really try to uh, work on that uh, you know, the, these large pieces are, are by no means a, 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 an easy thing for me to do yet. They're getting easier as I make more of them, but um, they still kind of have a mind of their own as, as to where I, you know, I want to make a certain shape, but it doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes as I get thrown the piece, I'm like, okay, well, this is kind of going in a little bit different direction, and then just kind of adapt and go from there. There's a lot of times with smaller pieces I make, I, I plan exactly what I'm going to make, and that's what I end up throwing. Uh, but with these larger ones, it kind of they have a little bit of a mind of their own, as what I said, and uh, I kind of have to uh, go with what's happening with the piece. 
Uh, and I'm sure after I make a hundred of these or more, then, then I'll get uh, more comfortable and, I, and I'll kind of be able to plan it out uh, a little bit more. But I, I'm fine with the way it is for now. Uh, but this is kind of a, a repeatable process where I, I, I do this over and over as far as adding sections on. Uh, and, and right now I'm kind of doing a 15 pound base and then I do a, a, like two or three, uh, I guess like three 10 pound sections and then kind of see where it goes from there if I need to make uh, you know a five pound top on that or you know do another 10 pounds just depends on where the where the shape is going so uh, but I'll let you guys continue to watch this for a couple minutes and then uh, I'll be back and, uh, and finish off with a little bit more commentary All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see here, I'm working on uh, kind of the shoulder and the beginnings of the neck. I realize once I have this piece on and pulled up that it's not quite as tall as I want it to be, so I'm actually going to, I think I have about 45 pounds in the piece at this point, and uh, I grab another five pounds to give me uh, the, uh, the shape or kind of the finish off the top, and also to give me some thickness in the top because I, as as you can see, I've thrown each of the sections. I throw them upside down on the bat, and then I flip the bat over on the piece and cut cut the piece free from the bat. Uh, but there's you know multiple advantages to that. But one of those is that I get some thickness in the top, uh, or or in the top of the section that I flip over. Uh, but um, anyway, uh, I also ran into a problem here in a minute where after I put this section on. I realized that the uh, that right there at the neck, there's a little bit of a wobble, or, or, or it's pretty bad in my opinion. 
and uh, it's kind of hard to see in the time lapse, but it just gets to where uh, I really think at one point that I might lose the piece or I'm going to be very unhappy with it even if I do finish it. So at one point I just really push really hard and, and try to keep my hand as steady as possible to work that out. Um, that comes up here in a, in, a, in a minute or so when I put that last section on. Uh, but it just really got to a point where I was like, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little sometimes too much of a perfectionist, but I, I'm like, I want to be happy with what I make. So I just said, you know what, it's, it's either going to make it or break it right here. So I just push really hard and with a steady hand and it really comes to a point where it just evens right out. And I thought, man, that was very fortunate that I saved that because, uh, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty long into the process at this point. You know, each of these takes, uh, uh, it takes a, a couple hours minimum, uh, if not you know three or four hours each, uh, just in the process of putting all the pieces together and drying them. But uh, I was really happy with the shape that came out of this one, and uh, I'm very thankful that it ended up working out. As always, I appreciate you guys being here and supporting the channel. Um, and uh, keep those comments and questions and, and ideas coming. I definitely am reading the comments and uh, responding to you guys as I can. And uh, I, hope it's, I hope it's helping you guys. And like I said, I appreciate you being here and supporting the channel. And uh, feel free to like and share this video as you want. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe before you go. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks.